In this video, we'll find the molar mass for Na2SO4.10H2O. This is sodium sulfate decahydrate. So to do this, we're going to find the molar mass of the sodium sulfate and then of the 10 water molecules. Add that all together. So let's do the sodium sulfate. Sodium on the periodic table is 22.99 grams per mole. I won't write that each time. We have two sodium atoms, so we're going to multiply that by two, plus the sulfur. We only have one sulfur. Sulfur, that's 32.07 grams per mole. For the oxygen, we have 16.00 grams per mole. We have four oxygen atoms, so we're going to multiply that by four. And then to that, we'll add the molar mass of these 10 water molecules. So we'll say 10 times hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and then we have two hydrogen atoms. Multiply that by two plus the oxygen again, that was 16.00 grams per mole. So we multiply it and add everything up here, and then we add to that the 10 water molecules. When we do that, we end up with a molar mass of 322.24, and the units, grams per mole. So what this means is if we have one mole of our sodium sulfate decahydrate, it's going to weigh 322.24 grams. My periodic table rounds to two decimal points. If you use a different periodic table, you might get a slightly different answer out here. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for Na2SO4.10H2O, sodium sulfate decahydrate. Thanks for watching.